Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, Noriko. Hello. I see you guys. I'll wait a few minutes and see everyone come in. Hi, Carmen. Florinda. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Florinda. Well, good evening for me, but good morning for you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me come in to see you guys. Wow. And I have someone from Brazil, too. My goodness. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everyone. Are we ready to talk about eyes? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, guys. Well, come on over. Start getting ready because I have a lot of tips and tricks for you. Everything about eyes. How much fun can that be for me? <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to give you thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yanima and uh, hello from Malaysia. Uh, good morning, Fiona. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So um, my IG live today is going to be everything about ice. And uh, in case you don't know me, this is Luis Casco. I'm Mary Kay's Global Beauty Ambassador. And I'm coming to you live from my home in Los Angeles. And um, as always, thank you for the privilege to allow me to do this. Thank you to the team of Mary Kay, Malaysia and Singapore for inviting me. Um, this is the next best thing to seeing you guys in person. Um, and let's get started. So, um, I have a few things to tell you about. Um, let me get everything ready here for you. Thank you. Coco, Coco Kim. I love, I love that name, Coco. <laughs> so, um, we are all, of course, adjusting to this new normal around the world. And most of us, when we go outside, have to wear f some sort of uh, face mask or covering. So how appropriate was this uh, for uh, me to be able to talk to you guys a little bit about ice and, um, and the importance of ice? They've always been important. I mean, when I am, when you first look at someone, what you see are definitely the eyes. So let me give you some great tips. Um, it, it really begins with how you take care of that area around the eyes. Now, a lot of you will know, and just if you don't, if you're still not experiencing it, do know that the area around the eyes is where we first start seeing the signs of uh, aging. So that's where you will see them first. So it's very important that we pay attention to it. And as we prep um, our face and our eyes to prepare for makeup, eye cream becomes essential. So I just wanted to uh, touch quickly on a couple of eye creams uh, that make hay offers, but that most of all give you different benefits. So I wanna let you know about them. The first one is this one, is the Mary Kay Time Wise Firming Eye Cream. Um, this eye cream, and I'll apply a little bit of this, um, you wanna use about a pea size amount, okay? Um, and this is what, probably as much as you wanna do um, with any eye cream. Uh, put it on your ring fingers like this, and then apply it. Um, about a half inch uh, from the lower lash line of your eyes. So um, here, I'll take this off. Of course, now I can't see. So you wanna apply it right around that area and then bring it up to um, around the whole orbital bone. 
Now notice it's important that you know that I am lightly tapping, very lightly, and then sort of feathering it out. So lightly tapping. I'm not pulling or tugging, okay? So don't, don't pull um, or tug in that area. Um, it is really the most delicate area on our face and um, it, that's why it needs a little bit more of that tender loving care or that TLC. So this uh, firming eye cream is great. It's pretty concentrated, I would say. So it's a little bit of a rich cream. So if you like to really feel um, moisturized or maybe it's a different time of the year where you're a little bit drier, then I would use um, this uh, uh, eye cream. It also has ingredients in it that will help over time to sort of uh, even out the skin uh, tone around that area. So it does brighten, but it's really a more of a firming um, uh, eye cream that is a little bit richer than uh, some of the others um, that Mary Kay offers in texture. So if you've tried it, you will know that yes, it does give you that extra tender loving care. It's a little bit more moisturizing, a little thicker in a way. So some of us actually need that very much. I wanna remind you that if you have any questions, please uh, post them on the sticker and I will, um, get to your questions as well. Um, now, another thing that I can tell you about eye creams is um, make sure that after you apply them, you give them a little bit of time to dry. Now, depends on the eye cream, you might need a little bit longer. Um, so I'll talk about that. But before you apply concealer or makeup, you wanna feel around that area and make sure that it's not wet feeling, that it's already dried, okay? You will really see the difference if you're applying concealer or makeup. So apply your eye cream and leave it on for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute at least. Um, if you are in a high humidity area, I would say leave that on um, a little bit longer, maybe even uh, a minute and a half, um, two minutes if you have the time. So make sure that it absorbs. And um, the other tip that I want to give you about eye cream, and you might have um, friends that tell you, oh, I can't use eye cream because it feels too greasy around my eyes. Have you ever heard that before? Send me little hearts if someone tells you that it's a little bit um, too greasy around their eyes, um, especially if you're in high humidity. Um, a lot of the times the answer is they're using too much. So remember that pea size amount again. Now, the next eye cream that I wanna tell you about is the H Minimize um, 3D eye cream. This one right here. Um, this eye cream is for someone who's already um, beginning to be concerned about the signs of aging. Um, it also will maintain the moisture around your eyes for up to 12 hours. So basically, you wanna use these eye creams in the daytime and in the evening when you're cleansing your skin. So this eye cream, if you're using it twice a day, that gives you 24 hours of hydration around the eyes. So um, definitely, definitely use it. Um, this eye cream is part of the Mary Kay TimeWise Miracle Set 3D, which actually I was a part of when it launched. Um, and it was really amazing to find out um, about skin and how it ages. So just in case you don't know, I'll give you just some really interesting tips about it. I didn't know that either. Uh, you know, the, the natural aging process, which is basically how our skin starts to age, 
So we all think, right? My skin um, looks a little older when I'm in my 40s, for instance, than I did in my 20s. Okay, well, that is true. But also the aggressors, that means the sun, pollution, the stress, lack of sleep, all those things really add up to uh, affect uh, the look of skin in the way that the skin ages. So uh, the whole miracle set that has a cleanser, a day cream, a night cream, and an eye cream um, from this set, which is the TimeWise Miracle Set 3D, has uh, those ingredients. It's called the Age Minimize 3D Complex. I know I gotta get that exactly right. And I was there with the scientists from AK when this was uh, launched. And it was a really amazing experience to find out how the 3D complex in this does three things, right? So it defends our skin from those free radicals. It delays the effects of aging and then it delivers results quickly. So just remember, that's the reason it's called 3D. Defend, delay, deliver, okay? Remember that. Um, again, you apply this eye cream, don't apply too much around the eye and let it dry before you apply makeup. Um, the last eye cream that I wanted to um, cover today, and of course, there's a couple of more options that Mary Kay offer, but I wanted to talk to you about the soothing eye gel right here. This stuff is amazing because it's like a refresher. I'll, I'll show you um, here. It's more um, of a gel. It's this cool little blue gel. There it is. You can see the texture, okay? So it's a gel that you can apply really at any time. It, um, it really tones, um, they all work with puffiness. This one is a gel form. So it could also be a great formula for someone who's maybe starting to wear eye cream and they want something a little bit lighter or just for a touch up. I mean, this is a great thing to have during the day to sort of get that nice cooling effect around the eye, right? It's almost like needing that extra uh, drink of water during the day that you need around the eyes. So it this has green tea extract, which is great, antioxidants, fantastic around the eyes, and also cucumber extract. So you know how people uh, sometimes we'll put a little tea bag or cucumber slices on their eyes to relax them and calm, calm them. Well, this will have it on. Now, as it relates to makeup, remember that this product being a gel, you are going to want it to dry a little bit longer than these other two before you apply makeup. So these are just some options of eye cream. Use one, use them all at different times of the year. Um, and the moral of the story and the most important thing is use um, something to hydrate your eyes no matter what age you are. Um, there's also a time-wise repair. Uh, eye cream that is for someone who's concerned with more advanced signs of aging. There are eye patches. There are different things that you can do. Um, remember, um, apply it. Don't just tap and don't pull or tug along those areas. So as always, I always like to say that um, skin care really is what makes your makeup look the best. And I know that especially those of you who live in very humid areas or actually very dry areas, I live in a very dry climate, we have different needs. 
So um, I give the eye cream a try um, and, and use it twice a day. It's uh, basic, but it's the most important thing um, that I could tell you. Now, I want to talk to you guys about color. So we've talked about eye cream and how important it is to hydrate around that area. <clears throat> Remember that you're also carrying it on that orbital bone, so right up here. But don't get too close to the base of the lash area. Eye creams will sort of travel, so you don't want to get them too close to that area. That's another um, tip or advice that I can give you. Now, let's talk about uh, a look that I've created with the perfect palette that I have here. And we'll get to speaking about color. I will also be posting some shots here of what, what I will be showing you. I did a little face chart and I will be posting it. I know that was quick, but I will be putting it on here. So. Do you want to know how to do this look? Let me show you. Wow. Okay. So here's a look from my book. Um, I have two books in, in case you knew. And for those of you that always ask me, you can go to my website. You can download the book, which is the easiest way to get it. But no matter what, I always post a lot of content from it and will keep uh, posting content. But I wanted to um, give you a, a view of how you can rock a look like this one. See, I have this palette here, okay? So I'm gonna tell you uh, here, look at the, the palette in the look. The shades are uh, that beautiful blue is called Radiant Blue. Um, the middle shade is gold, Golden Peach. This is Toffee right here, the matte shade. Here we have Shy Blush as well as uh, Latte Contour and Glaze Highlight. Okay, you can see the effect uh, right on her cheeks. So here's the palette. No worries, I will go over it a little bit more. But I wanted to show you, especially on brown eyes, even green eyes, how beautiful that blue looks. And you don't have to wear it all around the eye like this. I'm gonna give you another version. But let me show you here from my book. Here are um, some tips on how I apply it. Um, um, I see that the, the top picture here, got a little bit crop, but I will describe what I'm doing there. Um, basically, <clears throat> I apply the the peach uh, shade. Sorry, I, I gotta make sure I tell you the right name. Yeah, it's golden peach. These are new and newer shades. So the golden peach you wanna apply on the lid area and up to uh, the crease like this. And then the toffee, you want to apply basically all over or starting right at that socket crease and then going up. Now on the model, you see that I carry the smudger brush, which is the brush that has a point. Um, uh, Mary Kay has a few different eye brushes, but this one that has a little point on it and with that brush, I apply the blue shade. Okay, so uh, just to go back here. So what you see there, the matte shade is all over. That's called toffee. The shimmery shade, it's on the lid, and that is called golden peach. And then you can have fun with the radiant blue. Um, my tip on how to apply it would be use that smudger brush right here, the one that has the tip, and apply it right with that tip right on the area where you want to apply it, okay? So that is one option, applying it sort of all over if you feel bold with the blue. Uh, we've been talking about eye cream, so remember, let that eye cream dry, 
then I would apply eye primer, then I would do my eyeshadows, then afterwards, after this was really clean under the eyes, then I would apply concealer, okay? So I would apply my eyeshadows before I applied concealer. Um, here on the left uh, bottom, you see she's got the eyes closed. So basically what I did there is I blended the blue a little bit more and I will show you on my hand. So um, I take the tip of the smudger brush and you can make the actual line. You see it right there of that blue. And then you can blend it slightly that way with the longer side of the brush. Okay, so you apply it with the tip to sort of make almost like an eyeliner and then you blend it doing a round motion like this. Now, here's another option and I love doing this look. Look at this. So if your skin tone is a little bit deeper, I would do the same thing, but you could also have fun by adding um, a black or a brown eyeliner. Again, remember, if you're not comfortable with lining around the whole eyes like I did here, you can always just apply the effect on the upper uh, uh, lash line, okay? So um, with this eyeshadows, you can go, um, you can do an effect which is more um, of a blue uh, effect, which can be on the upper or lower lash line. Or you can also add eyeliner and then make it a little bit more um, smoky like this, okay? Isn't that a, a wonderful look? Um, now, let me show you the face chart here. So here's the face chart. And there you can see what I did. So the shade that you see that's a little bit darker, it's the golden peach and then the toffee goes everywhere. And then the blue is around the eye wherever you're comfortable applying it, whether it's all around, just on the top or even just on the lower lash line. That looks beautiful too. Okay, so I wanted to share those with you. Uh, here we are. Okay. Uh, so now, what about if I answer some of your questions? Yes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and I'll put this here. I will answer some of your questions. I do have a few minutes. Um, while I'm back on the screen like this, I just wanted to show you again, this is the beautiful palette that I have, um, which Radiant Blue, Golden Peach, and Toffee are the eye shades. I'm showing it like this because I don't want the mirror to um, uh, show up everywhere. Then I have Latte egg and... Um, Shy blush, uh, latte, glazed, and then shy blush right here. Um, and then I was able to create um, a couple of different versions of that look as you see here. Okay, so now, questions, yes. Here we go, let me, let me get to some of your questions. Um, there, let's see. Um, well, here's a great question. Um, I assume someone's asking me if eye cream is suitable for people that have oily skin. Absolutely. Just remember, you don't have to apply a lot. I think a lot of people make the mistake of applying too much um, eye cream. So as a rule of thumb, think of a pea size um, almost, um, look at one of your makeup brushes, okay? And look at the tip of it. That would tell you exactly about how much eye cream you'd wanna apply. And then you tap on your two fingertips like this and then you apply. 
Um, and if it's really oily under that area, you might want to even apply less. But do apply it and do let it um, dry before you apply other makeup. Um, here we go. Um, here's a makeup question. How many brushes you use for the first look? Great question. So um, for the eyes, I would recommend you to use three brushes. I'm getting them here. Um, for the overall shade, which is toffee, I would use just a fluffy eyeshadow brush that gives you um, like a wash all over. And then um, for the crease, I would use this crease brush right here and I would apply it this way, like horizontal, to apply the shade at the crease. Also to blend, um, if you do use eyeliner, like in this picture that I have here, you can blend it this way, and then you can turn it the other way to blend even more. Um, and then the third and most important for this look is this smudger brush. The one that has the point. We take the blue on the point like that and we apply it like this. You see? So you get a nice, uh, a nice like line. And then with round motions, we blend if we choose to. Okay, let's see another question. I love that I have time to answer questions. Um, great question. How do you play with blue eyeshadows for daily look? That is up to your comfort level. Um, I think that uh, encouraging people to wear an eyeshadow like blue, especially now that we're wearing uh, face masks and that we want the eyes to look fun and, and um, give us a more vibrant look. I think it's a great way to do it. And also, if you're not too comfortable wearing it on its own, you can always blend it with a little eyeliner. And it's the best way to take a black or a brown eyeliner and create um, a fun effect, just to change things up. Um, here we go. Um, uh, okay. Someone asked, when do we bake under the eye area? After foundation or concealer? Okay, that's, that's a great question. Uh, I would say that you would blend, you would bake, meaning you would put powder under that eye area after you've done your foundation and concealer. Um, I don't think that most people need baking for that long, meaning you don't need a lot of powder under the eye area, but I do believe that it should be clean and perfect, then bake, maybe then move down to your cheeks and your lips, and then clean that baking or that powder under the eye um, so that you get an extra uh, highlight. Um, here we go. Another great question. Will the green tea and cucumber and the eye gel help reduce puffiness? Of course, that's exactly what it does. It literally, basically just takes the time from you putting a little tea bag or a slice of cucumber on your eyes, gives you that cooling effect. I know some people that keep this in the fridge to keep it sort of cool, and it gives you that nice refreshing uh, touch under the eyes. So great, use it. Uh, here we go, another question. Uh, here we go. Here is a question from Junior Ricci. Is eye cream suitable for all skin and is it suitable for a man? Absolutely. Eye cream has uh, no gender. I think we should all use it. Um, there is a men's specific eye cream. Uh, if you're someone who is really concerned and into their skin um, routine, then I would recommend you using any of these eye creams, they absolutely work. And again, um, today I spoke to you guys about the time-wise firming eye cream, the uh, time-wise H-minimized 3D eye cream, and 
this uh, soothing eye gel, indulge soothing eye gel right here. There's three different options. And yes, I'll answer one more question. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, here we go. Okay, great question. How to avoid cakey crease look under the eye when we want to do eye makeup? Okay, a couple of things. First of all, don't ignore using eye cream in that area and letting it dry. Trust me, you might um, be applying makeup before that is dry. So if you've been waiting a couple of minutes, wait a little bit longer. It's normal, especially if you're oily. <clears throat> Number two, you should set your makeup. So um, use a nice fluffy brush like this, take a tiny bit of translucent powder, I mean very tiny amount, and then lightly sweep it under the, under the eye area when you're done with your makeup. That will help to set it. Now, one more and one last tip that I would give you is if you're really oily under the eye, take the uh, beauty blotter sheets and just blot that area before you do your makeup, okay? So if, if you've created even more oil, and if you have oily skin, and if that area is a little bit oilier, thank goodness for it, because what it means is you will not wrinkle as much as people with dry skin will. <laughs> <laughs> so you can always look at the positive way uh, from it. So thank you for that question. Um, also, thank you guys for your time. Thank you so much to um, the Mary Kay Malaysia and Singapore team for inviting me. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, it just got brighter here, but here I am. Oh, okay. Yes, fantastic. Enjoy these looks that I showed you. Here we are. Here's the face chart, which we'll share with you. Um, and remember, get your little palette with some fun shades so you can show off your eyes. Thank you for all the shout outs. Thank you for all the love. I'm sending you huge, huge virtual hugs. Love. Yes, we do it like this. Fantastic. I think we do it like this. <laughs> you guys will have to show me that next time. So thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, I will be back um, as soon as I can. So mwah, enjoy your weekend, you guys. It's going to be awesome. Take care. Thank you.